here we are down in the uh, in the dungeon again today. Um, we're going to look at some engine heads and do a little comparison on them. Um, maybe one of these days you guys will see me uh, go through this 350 Chevrolet engine step by step um, with a how-to series. I got it all machined. I just really haven't had any time to go through and do it and I don't have any Chevrolet cars to put it in so it's been kind of on the back burner. But anyway, we're going to look at two Ford small block cylinder heads today. Now, uh, the one on our left here is from a 60s, you know, 289 engine. And then this is a uh, AFR head for, a, you know, just what they sell for the small block Ford. Now, there's a subtle difference here that really concerns me about using, um, you know, later heads like 60s heads on 80s blocks or you know anything like these AFR heads on a 60s engine and maybe someone else knows better but I want to point this out and kind of bring it to attention now I've done a few 289's you know from the 60's and see how this engine head has this crossover port here now on the block on those 60's blocks there's actually a hole on the deck for this to flow through and the gaskets also have a hole um, there's also just a little tiny hole here, and that actually matches up with these AFR heads. But as you can see, um, you know, that big old slot is missing. Now, I wish I had two blocks sitting here, but I don't. On the, uh, on the 80s engine block, you know, it doesn't have this port. So, you know, this head will work just perfect on it. And, you know, any heads that don't have that port are fine. You know, and maybe it's fine just anyway, but it's kind of scared me away, and I haven't found anything definitive online about this. So, um, you know, this is just really interesting. Most of the time you won't run into this because these, you know, 60s heads are usually pretty bad. Um, these heads here are about the only good ones there ever were. They're 54cc chambers, and... A while back I had these um, larger valves put in. I think these are you know 1.94 and I don't remember what the exhaust is but they're pretty large. They're actually bigger than the uh, these AFR valves here. Um, just about as big as you can wedge in there and I had hardened seats pushed in and everything and port work done you know so. But anyway these are the only you know, good heads from back in the day that anyone might even consider using just for the fact that you can get relatively big valves wedged in there and they're 54 cc chambers so that equals out to a good amount of compression on a 302 on a 289 that puts you at like nine nine and a half to one so that's pretty good and these AFRs are about as close as it gets with uh, 58 cc chambers and that's going on a 302 so it should make about you know, 10 to 1 with the pistons and the aluminum should help it cool, but you know, anyway, I just want to make note of that because that's real interesting, you know, it makes me real nervous to put these heads on an 80s engine or and vice versa, you know, these heads um, on a 60s block. I just wanted to make note of that, it's even, like I said, you can see these AFRs they don't have it, and really most aftermarket, all, all of them that I've ever seen they don't have that crossover port, so um, that's something to keep in mind there. Um, if anyone's got any, you know, info about that, I'd love to hear it. But obviously, you know, there's a that's a pretty substantial port, and it's not on both sides. So, and they did carry over this little port here, I noticed, and they're always like that. But anyway, I just kind of want to make mention of that before anyone go slapping one head on the other engine, you know, it's something to be aware of and it's something to maybe, you know, call in about. I called into AFR and they didn't necessarily know what I was talking about and it seems like no one really does. So, um, anyway, again, that's something to be aware of. So, there you go. Two different style engine heads for the same style engine. 